all right guys welcome to my youtube channel this is me and to mobile guys i have with me here ford explorer engine 2014 guys um this is um 3.5 engine guys um i want to be showing you guys um how i've been starting the piston where your connecting rod is facing guys um i just used one, one engine and then the engine has knocked just because of the way they position the cap on the crankshaft so guys um, i'll be showing you how you will install your pistons and where your connecting rod should face and where the connecting rod pin here should also face this pin here has where it it will face guys and uh, then let me show you one mark here because you can see this mark on your piston let me bring the camera very close yeah that mark like one and then um i'll also show you something here so this is um this four corner ducts here and there's some of it is to have a uh, arrow that will face up like this so this and this are on the same side so when you check this other side you can find that mark here here is it so you can find that mark there so this is where the mark is so then i will show you how you're going to install it inside your block engine so guys i'm um, uh, so this is number so this is my left side and then all this uh, pin all this um key on the crankshaft the key will be facing this way okay guys uh, let me just wrap lubricant guys don't want to hold my phone for me so i have to do the video alone so guys let me show you guys how i used to position my rings um, um all right so here we go i'm here to position my rings like this um then uh, position this one like that then uh, so guys this is my lubricant so guys this is my I'm, I'm using the front camera to record my video guys um this is the front this is the i'm using the front camera so guys, this is my lubricant so guys let's go so i'm gonna then uh, let's go You have to oil it well. So guys, just watch what I'll be doing. Um, so guys, I will show you. So guys, this dot here will be facing up. Then I'll take the camera to the back after installing the piston so I can show you how your this will be facing like this. So this is uh, the bank two. So this is the bank two here. So the key will be facing the bank one. So even the bank one is facing out there to the bank one. So all the keys are facing the other side. So guys, uh, just follow me on the video. Let me show you how you install your piston. Then the cap at the uh, behind. So guys, uh, let's go. Let me install this first and just hang it here. Then I take my wrist squeezer. I install the other side of the... Uh, right side which is the bank one so guys let's go i'm coming yet maybe you might not be seeing it clearly so then i take it out like this i have to make sure i make sure the rings are intact i have to make sure the rings are intact then before locking it because at times if the ring is not well intact so you have to check your rings from here guys you have to check your rings from here make sure it's intact especially the oil ring it might pull out and then before you know it it will squeeze and bend inside the block engine so guys uh here is it um, you can see the oil ring from the holes here everything is intact so i'm good to go i'm good to go so i have to relock it again i have to relock 
the that's good then i have to put my lubricant well then uh, push the piston out a little push it out a little then before i install it so guys as i said so this four corner dot mark here will be facing up then the pin the crankshaft key will be facing back down all right guys let's go Guys, I will take you to the back after installing the piston. So here we go. So guys, here we go. Let me uh, install. Guys, I'm coming. Let me... I have to like you know guys let me because no one to hold the camera for me so I have to hold it myself guys um okay it might not be clear very well due to the charring of the place I don't know if you guys can see it like this it's not too clear so guys um okay let me let's go this way guys let's go this way okay guys um here we go so guys um i just so this is the key so the key is facing bank one so then i have to put this key to key so that it be key to key and all will be facing bank one All will be facing bank one. <sighs> Guys, I just uh, installed this. So this key too is facing this way. So all the keys are facing this way. All the keys are facing bank one. So guys, all the keys are facing bank one. All right, guys, I just want to show you where the crankshaft pin uh can have key faces on a on a ford explorer or ford h 3.5 engine so guys are uh, all the key and the dot up on the piston will be facing uh the key will be facing uh, bank one or the key on the connecting rod will be facing bank one while all the dots and then you can see let me check um i have some piston here that has the arrow let me check if I can find it here. Okay, guys. Uh, guys, you can see here, this piston here has the arrow. Then this is the dot here, this four corner dot here, where you can scan your piston. And then this mark. So you can use these three places to identify where your piston should face. So all this will be facing chain cover. So all this will be facing chain cover. It will be facing up to the chain cover. Please don't mistakenly to turn the piston upside down. So all will face chain cover. Then all the key on the corn rod will face. Will all go to bank one. Then the bank one is facing the bank one too. So don't go and turn the crankshaft like this. Your corn rod like this. So make sure everything is like this. So let everything face bank one. All right, guys. Uh, I think my explanation is okay. I think you should be clear with it. Okay guys, if this is your first time watching my YouTube channel, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, share my video, and thanks for watching.